Hello, my chicklets. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you all are having a wonderful May thus far. It is very interesting weather-wise here where I'm living at, but it has been beautiful. I hope the same is to be said for you. If you're interested, make sure to check out the links in my description for any commissions that you would like for me to do or for any story requests that you would like. For now, let's go ahead and read the story, First and Second Kiss. Remus wasn't shy, not in any sense of the word. He would happily strip nude in front of all of his co-workers just for the shock value, but this? This was different. It shouldn't have been. It should have been so easy to approach his boyfriend and ask for what he wanted. But Remus knew if he didn't phrase it perfectly, it could go dramatically wrong. Hey, Re, everything okay? Virgil asked as he sat his stuff down on the opposite side of the dinner table before curling up next to Remus. They had been dating for four months, and this was the slowest Remus had ever taken things. That wasn't bad. It just wasn't something he was used to. And honestly, it made him so much more nervous. Taking each step with such reverence and care made Remus worry that he would be too much when they finally moved past the handholding. He wanted to kiss Virgil, to sweep him off into the unknown and experience life with him. He wanted to give Virgil the world. Most importantly, he wanted to kiss Virgil until he was breathless. But therein lay the problem. Remus didn't know how to ask. So far, he was waiting for Virgil to make all of the first moves. Hand-holding, cuddling, even most of their dates were planned on Virgil's time schedule, which Remus didn't mind. He understood from the beginning that Virgil had certain boundaries, but he had also been told that he could ask for things he wanted. Communication was important, right? So why was asking for a kiss so hard? Remus had asked for a lot worse from people who were a lot less understanding. Earth to Remus. Dude, you okay? Yeah, just, um, can I ask a question? Virgil noticeably stiffened in his arms. Is it about my anxiety? No, of course not, Vampire Bat. It's, um, well, Remus took in a deep breath. Communication. It was fine. I was wondering if I could kiss you? Remus wasn't looking directly at Virgil but he could almost see the hint of a blush on his boyfriend's face. Hey, Re, can you look at me? Remus hesitated. Why did rejection suddenly feel so terrifying? He slowly looked up at Virgil. He was giving him a slight smirk before he reached out and kissed Remus slowly, leaning into him more. Remus was flying, completely on cloud nine, as he leaned into the kiss, his hands hovering over Virgil's hips. Thank you for being respectful. I would love to kiss you. Remus smiled excitedly, leaning forward. Again? He questioned. Again. Virgil answered. Thank you all for listening. I know this was a rather short one, but I still think it's super cute and adorable. I hope you all enjoyed the fluff. I hope you enjoy your month. And I hope you have a wonderful day.